Today on my next project, we're going to make some drawers. The first thing I did for these drawers is I went out here and I rough marked out how long they needed to be on this piece of 1x12. Now I'm going to cut these to a rough length. They're about an inch oversized so that I can cut them down after I do all my work at the table saw. I like to take these rounded edges off so what I did was I trimmed off one side of these on all of my boards before I came back and cut them to final width. Final width for these drawers is about 3 and 7 eighths. And here I'm cutting them to the final width on the table saw. After I get all these cut to final width, I'm going to go back to the miter saw and go ahead and cut them to final length. It may seem like a double, uh, like a, I'm doing the same process twice, but I like the way this worked for myself. Now we need to go back and cut on the table saw little rabbits on the ends of these this is how the drawers are going to go together we will cut this on all four sides of the of the drawer make sure you line your boards up properly and cut the notches these are uh, excuse me cut the rabbits on the same side you'll see what I mean here in just a second because I did not cut one of these right If you have a dado stack, a dado stack will work for this as well. If not, you can make multiple passes like I am. Can you see this board here? Can you see the problem? I, for some reason, uh, cut my rabbit on this side and then on this side so that I can't use that piece. I don't know what I was thinking or how I did that, but make sure if you do, if you build these drawers, you don't do that. That's a terrible mistake to make. Now you're going to need to cut a rabbit on the bottom of each of the sides of the drawer. You can do this again with a dado stack or you can do it as I'm doing it here and making a pass with a table saw. Now you have a couple options here. You can make repeat passes but I chose not to do that. I cut this groove right here on all of the sides of the boxes making sure that I cut it on the inside of the boxes because you've already cut your other rabbits so you got to make sure the rabbits and these, the first rabbits you cut and these rabbits are on the same side. Then I turn them on their side and cut this little groove out right here. The downside to this is after you make the cut, you gotta turn your table saw off and let it stop spinning so you can get that little piece out. Do not reach your hand in there and try to grab that. Let the saw stop spinning and then you can pull it out. This is a little bit more time consuming, but then you don't have to change out your blade to install your dado stack. And I thought this was a better option than making repeat cuts. So I'm using cheap plywood for the bottom of these drawers. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a pass to make sure I get a straight line on one end. This is in the middle, and then I'm going to flip it around and cut off the, ed the factory edge where there's some loose plies at. That's just to make the drawers look a little better and make me feel better about them. Now I'm cutting them to final width on the table saw again and these are ready to attach to the bottom of the drawers. You can see here I've already done my dry assembly and now I'm going to take it apart and ready to add glue and brad nail it together. Now for time to assemble the drawers. I'm going to use simple brad nails and lots of glue. And I say lots of glue since the brad nails are just going to hold the drawers in place till it dries. We want to probably put a good amount of glue here because that's going to be where all the strength comes from. I put four brad nails per corner.
And we're even going to put glue and bread nails on the bottom. So we're going to go and put glue on the this rabbit on the bottom. And then we'll put the plywood on there. And then we'll bread nail it in place. And this drawer will be pretty much done. The body will be built. This will be a very strong drawer as well. Just lay the board down, please. So you guys can see what I did off camera here. I clamped all these pieces on the drawer front. This is going to help line it up. And I'll go just like this on here. We'll glue it and then we'll put some clamps and add a couple of screws in from the back. I added a lot of glue on this and then I spread it out with a piece of scrap wood. I can say I didn't have a lot of squeeze out so I think I added just the right amount of glue but it looks like a lot here. I attached the drawer front with two screws and that will hold it in place. I'll have a future video showing exactly how I came up with these drawer fronts. They look beautiful though. And now just attach with a couple of screws. Not sure if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video or not, but these are shop drawers and they're not going to have drawer slides. They're going to have wooden slides is what's going to allow them to slide. So here I'm going to make a little piece that will go inside the drawer that keeps this, that will keep you from pulling the drawer out too far. I'm sure there's other alternatives to this, but this was something pretty simple that I thought you could add and remove pretty easily. You can see I just made these simple little jigs right here because my drawer slides are on 2x4s. And I want to secure them with uh, brad nails and glue to help hold them in place. And now we're going to drill holes in this where I can attach them to the drawer. And here I'm marking these out. So that's going to be A, and A is going to go there. So we'll go ahead and pre-drill those holes. Or I guess just drill them. I'm not real sure why we say pre-drill. And we'll do the same, side on the, the same thing on the other side with, with what I labeled as B. And now you can see under the drawer, I'm actually attaching these two pieces while the drawer is installed. So this will allow the drawer not to come out too far. And I did it on both sides to help add extra security. And it keeps the drawer running in line on the 2x4 that's there. And you can see now the drawer slides in and out very nicely. I'm very happy with how these drawers turned out. And just to show you how strong these are, I added some weights. And yes, these are 25 pound dumbbells you'll see that here in just a minute and the drawer held it without any problems so I think these drawers are plenty strong and that's gonna wrap up this video on how I made these drawers for my shop thanks again for watching and as always y'all will see me next time